the last gift of the master artists. Um, I love the book so much, I wrote it twice. Um, first time it was uh, a star book, uh, which was a very important book for me to write, published in 2007. And it's a novel about, not about the middle passage, it's not about the slave trade as such, it's about Africa just before the slave trade. So it's a, it's a celebration of a civilization that is about to undergo a tremendous change. Um, that's about to undergo a kind of a sea change. Uh, not, not a collapse, but a, a, a way, um, an alteration of its, of its spirit. And I want to catch that last period when a people were in some ways most themselves. Um, and in doing that, to sort of cast a shadow on, um, on the Middle Passage from the point of view of this luminous uh, land and this luminous people uh, that are about to undergo a kind of a crisis. So it's an elegy, um, but it's also a love story. Uh, it's, it's a great love story that takes place between two different realms within the same kingdom. It was so important to me, I felt it necessary to rewrite it. Um, I, I spent a long time doing that, um, six, seven years, just patiently rewriting it. Why did I do that? Because I felt um, when I published it first at Starbook that it, it, it was not understood what I was trying to do. It was seen as a fable, when in fact it was a, a fable with a broken heart. Um, it was a fable with tears, um, a, a fable with uh, a sense of tragedy inside it. Um, and I wanted to align the tone of the writing um, to two things the enchantment and the tragedy at the same time. I wanted you to feel the magic and the enchantment, the luminosity, the, 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 the golden quality. But I also, at the same time, inside of that, to feel this, this tragedy, this sadness that's coming. I think it's probably one of my most important novels.